Hey, welcome back to uh, How to Start Up's Weekly Roundup. We're on to episode two. Um, so last week, I had the pleasure of interviewing two startup founders at very different stages of their respective journeys. Uh, first was Ed Meacock, the CEO and founder of Tunable, which is actually in its very burgeoning stages. In fact, he's currently looking for a CTO to uh, bring his project to life. Um, and then second, I interviewed Jordan Turner from 77 Threads, who actually established his brand whilst at university and working full time and um, has now taken it to a level while still working full time that he's really comfortable with. Uh, to the extent that he's actually looking to get it into a couple of independent high street stores, I think later on in the year, hopefully post lockdown. So what did I learn last week? Well, it comes threefold. Number one, mentoring. I've learned, and this actually probably follows off the back of my interview with Baron Corkmas the week before, that it's absolutely critical to have a mentor. Um, being able to have someone to soundboard ideas off who is not only more experienced in your respective industry, but it's also run a business that's higher grossing than yourself. But actually just realizing that anyone can be a mentor, anyone can provide you with a certain degree of advice. Um, the fact of the matter is you just have to reach out to them. And it doesn't matter how high up uh, in the industry that they are. Obviously, you can reach out to as many as possible. Obviously, the higher up they are, the uh, more difficult it will be for you to actually reach through to them. But give it a go. Buy them a coffee. Sit down. Just demonstrate your passion for your project and your product. And I think that they'll resonate with you. Number two, influencer marketing. I think there's a misconception and a large number of mistruths surrounding influencer marketing and who you should use to convey your brand. Um, I think the first thing you need to realize is that a huge number of likes and follows doesn't actually equate to you being able to reach out to your target market more efficiently. For instance, Jordan uses uh, Stefan uh, on Instagram. He's only got 900 followers, but the quality of the content that he puts out and specifically staying on brand within streetwear industry makes him the ideal candidate, therefore a micro-influencer within a specific niche. So it doesn't have to be a previous contestant on Love Island or a, an extra on EastEnders to be a decent influencer. You just need to find someone who resonates with you within your industry. And boom, you've got yourself a decent influencer. Number three, forming a non-monetary idea. I think for me, this is the most important because Ed founded Tunable on the premise that he wanted to be able to change the wealth distribution model within the music industry so that indie music artists would get more recognition. Whilst Jordan's 77 Thread started off as a passion project where he could actually escape the world and actually go and invent and create. Neither of these ideas have been about making money. It's always been about what's the idea? What can I change in the world? What do I really get fulfillment out of? I think there's a big issue when it comes to forming an idea based purely on financial gain is that it becomes more cold and calculating. You become disassociated from your idea. If you have a vision higher than yourself, then it's a hell of a lot easier for you to actually maintain motivation, momentum towards it. Obviously, you don't have to separate your vision into multiple goals in order for you to reach it. It's just work towards it. You know, remain zen, move forwards, don't... Don't put too much undue pressure on yourself. That's the most important thing. Keep working towards it and you'll get there. You know, just know that you're moving in the right direction. So yeah, please um, jump on both of their interviews to check them out because they're both very, very insightful. And I think you probably learn quite a bit. Incorporate every single idea that you come across into your life. You can reject certain ones and incorporate others. It's totally down to you. But make sure you find yourself a mentor because... Being able to find someone who gets you and someone who can inspire you on a personal level um, and who's got more experience is absolutely vital to your own personal success. And when it comes down to trying to market your brand, if it is a consumer brand and you want to find an influencer, then don't go for the ones that everyone else is going for. Identify your specific niche, your target market, your customer down to the letter so you know exactly the type of influence you want conveying your brand and brand message. And I suppose lastly, find yourself a passion project. It can be anything. What do you enjoy doing? 
what do you really enjoy doing and there might be there might be a couple of things within what you enjoy doing that you don't you don't particularly like you know there could be a couple of quirks a couple of things that you'd love to tweak but i haven't thought but no one's come out with a way to address them maybe that could be something that you that you turn into a business it could be anything maybe you genuinely do just have a passion project and it might already be in a highly saturated competitive market but shit who cares man if you enjoy doing it and then you end up making money from it the latter is a massive bonus so this week i'm going to be very lucky to be interviewing both bruce panaman co-founder of stork card which is a credit card for parents who are dealing with the financial shock of having a child for the first time and then raj sharma the founder and creator of Captivation, which is a smart nail brand. I know, right? Anyway, make sure you tune back in here for some real-time advice.